Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and I'm back with another developer diary for my sci-fi farming simulation that I'm calling Xeno Farm. And it's it's been a few weeks since the last update. I kind of took a game dev vacation for about a month or six weeks. Uh, I've been hard at work on a lot of different projects for quite a while now, so I figured it'd be kind of a good time to take a break play some Minecraft, play some Hearthstone, and uh, kind of re-energize, and, and also let some of my ideas kind of just percolate in the back of my mind. I've found that's a really good way to uh, get your energy going, and also maybe solve some problems um, while things just kind of kick around back there, and uh, it's worked well for me over the years, and uh, I'm back at work this week, and I've actually made some really good progress, too, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I've mostly been working on the the soil simulation for the uh, for the game. I've decided that there's going to be three kinds of soil in the game. There's going to be this kind of loamy, nice rich brown earth. There'll be something that's a little more like clay, a kind of a packed uh, wetter earth and sandy soil like you see here. And uh, I think this will, these three soils will make a good opportunity for some variety without being too complicated. Um, I kind of want to keep things as simple as I can and uh, kind of abstracting what happens in the real world and simplifying it. So um, it will be kind of based on nature but uh, simplified and uh, easier to wrangle up in my code and easier for the players to understand. Um, I've also been kind of fine-tuning this system I have of letting the player know what's going on with the soil with the textures here. I'm pretty happy with the way these the loam and the dry take the water out and it looks really dry. Um, take the food out and it changes as well or the nutrients out of the soil it also changes. I think it'd be really neat to be able to just kind of wander around your farm and actually just look at the soil and the plants and see what they what needs to be done. I am going to have some sensors as well so you can tell exactly what's going on but um, I really want to be able to visually represent that as well. Um, I'm also, speaking of the terrain, I've also been working on a procedural generation of the terrain so every time you start a new farm it'll be slightly different. See if I start here you can see that uh, the makeup of the soil is different, um, different areas of um, dry and wet, and the different heights and uh, arrangement to all the land mass, the land mass here, and it's working really well. I'm, I'll be adding some little more details later on, but the basics are are working good. I kind of like how it's got scooped out of here. You know, the background for this whole farm thing is that you're going to be coming to. Uh, freshly terraformed plot of land on a planetoid or a moon or something so I kind of want it to be like they just scooped out a big chunk of this earth and plopped down a big uh, dome on top and you're gonna have a kind of a blank canvas to work with excuse me uh, Let's see, oh, I've got uh, starts of a grass simulation now using Unity's um, grass terrain system. And uh, we dropped down some water. I got everything on fast forward here, so everything's eating up the raw water really fast. <laughs> so this grass, once you plant it down, it kind of spreads out over an area. And uh, this particular grass is going to be good for the soil. It's going to take water from the soil but it's going to add nutrients back in and this would be something like in the real world like a clover plant uh, you can uh, plant clover in your field and it will actually improve the soil adding nutrients and organic matter to the soil so the player will be able to improve their soil without buying fertilizer and spreading it around so they'll have both options but I want to have uh, a lot of different ways to accomplish things there will also be some grasses that are bad for the for the player maybe like an invasive weed that um, would choke out the other plants not let them grow well things like that 
I've got a pretty good handle on the Unity's terrain system now. It, it's pretty wonky and uh, it's not very well documented. But I think I've spent enough time with it now that I, I kind of got it down and I can make it jump through the hoops that I needed to jump through. So that's feeling pretty good. I also have a new plant that looks much better than my first prototype plant. Pretty happy with it. Happy with the uh, way the scripts are performing too. Uh, it was uh, not too hard to get this new plant going because of the way I've written my scripts kind of generalized so I'll be able to use them with most plants without doing a lot of new coding. Where is one? Here's one that's growing. I think this plant will probably end up being one that prefers the sandy soil and maybe won't grow in the clay. And I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's a little hard to see when you're far away. I don't know if that's going to be important or not, but uh, um, it's really exciting to see some of these systems that I've been scheming up and planning for starting to work together. You know, you got the system that runs the soil. You got uh, the system that's running each of these plants and the one that's running the grass. And they're all starting to kind of work together and uh, be a little more than their parts. And it's pretty exciting. I can't wait to get the rest of the stuff in there, like, you know, the player harvesting and replanting and uh, the lights that affect the plant's growth, things like that. Not really sure what I'm going to work on next. My to-do list is pretty long, of course, but... Uh, uh, I really need to get the lighting working so that uh, the lights affects the plant growth. I need to um, get the player harvesting working uh, so that you can harvest these fruits and replant them. Start selling them and making a profit. And I'm uh, still not quite sure what to do with the inventory. Uh, I don't really want to have just like a magic backpack where everything disappears into. Um, what I'd really like is for every fruit or plant or whatever that you harvest to actually exist in the world at all times. So if you pick one of these artichokes, you're going to maybe put it in a wheelbarrow and take it back to your home base and uh, store it there until you're ready to use it um, so that each object that you harvest would actually kind of exist in the world until you're ready to use it. Now, if I can't figure out how to code that or <laughs> it starts becoming too complicated, then I maybe will. I'll just have a magic backpack of some sort, but uh, that's what I really like to do. That's another thing I want to get going, too, is the player's home base. Uh, when you start out, you're going to be able to plop down kind of like a prefab home that you get um, from the, the terraforming company, and uh, you'll use that as a home base and maybe add upgrades and different tools to it as the game progresses. Got to kind of figure out what that's going to look like, too. I need to uh, been hashing out a few design ideas for, like, the terraforming equipment. This one is one I grabbed from Crash Lander. It's just kind of temporary. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm really excited about how things are starting to come together. So um, keep track of the project if you're interested. Um, I'm going to have a playable prototype in January. That's my number one goal right now so keep track of that if you want to get in there and start digging in the virtual dirt with me <laughs> and you can keep track of that by subscribing to the, my youtube channel here uh, just right down below there's that subscribe button or you can go to uh, brainblinks.com and look for the xenofarm page there's a spot there where you can sign up for a newsletter that i'll be using to keep people uh, posted about what's happening or you can go to Twitter, um, at Kitchen Dawn is my handle there. And uh, I'm always posting stuff there, and I always post a little blurb whenever I update one of my projects or do something new. So there we have my progress on Xenofarm. So thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.